Hi, I'm Mark Evans, editor of Sport Ivan Magazine. I'm Simon Chance, the manager of the Penny Diving Society. Uh, we're here in Las Vegas for the Diva Show 2010, so join us as we take you around all the best things that are happening in the industry. Let's go. Hi, I'm here on the, uh, on the reflex stand, uh, talking to Roberto. Um, so, what have you got new to do? The new thing is the HP Moses with the stainless steel rating, or half and half with stainless steel and uh, nylon. The stainless steel is been introduced to just give uh, more strength to the hose and uh, just to have some more uh, on stock to, to help the people to have more uh, heavy duty hoses. But then uh, realizing that the stainless steel is already on the market, we decided also to do the half and half with the stainless steel and nylon, which also gives you the, the same flexibility even under pressure like the uh, nylon, complete nylon braided hose, and uh, also it doesn't leave a memory to the hose itself. No, and the other nice, nice thing is, is the uh, the finish with that, with it being a half and half, is yeah. very eye catching as well. That's right. so, it also matches the low pressure. No, that is fantastic. So, have you got anything else new to show? So we got something new here. It's a filling whip, and uh, it's just been uh, uh, developed by us in the last couple of months. And uh, uh, we heard from our customers that uh, the filling whips, the they've got the ones on the market at the moment, they've got uh, the downside that uh, to release the air when the hoses are under pressure they have to press the button that is very very hard to press or they have got some uh, uh, other things to uh, unscrew that is very difficult to unscrew while under pressure with this uh, device that we developed uh, with a very easy turn of the of the knob we can uh, just release the air and uh, it can be easily be put on again Nice simple solution, yes. Yeah. It's going to be used on both sides. We can have a uh, male or female coming off, it depends on what you want to fit. Quite simple. Yeah, yeah. Or simple. Yeah. It's a good solution to an issue with that. So. Cool. Excellent. Okay. Thank you very much. Well, we've got to be with Paul Charles from Weasel. Paul, you got anything here? You can. Actually, Simon, we've got the uh, reversible crank this. Must go here. Jacket. Normal jacket. Probably temperatures down to just on the verge of freezing. Right. But if you have a problem, turn it inside out. Or if you're doing if you're the cops and you're uh, doing rib diving, yeah. put that on onto the helm. You've got a high vis jacket straight on. Yeah. And as, as usual, all this toast. Yeah. <laughs> it works wet or dry. Yeah. So uh, it doesn't matter at all. Yeah. Nice stuff. Very light, very lightweight. Yeah, pockets. And it will pack away to probably the size of a small water. Yeah, got a built in hood here. Uh, built in hood. So I've got a hybrid as well. Again, so you've got a hybrid. Yeah. So it's perfect for rib diving. Or, uh, say, keep it in the back of the car, you break down. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, yeah, you've got your hybrid yeah. covered. Yeah. Okay. What else you got coming out? Right. Well, let's have a look at the uh, commercial suit. Okay. Yeah. So, commercial to compact fibre, uh, which is the best one if you use um, extreme fibre, when they get back in the bell, it's too warm, even when it's wet, right. it's too warm. The great thing with this commercial fibre is that you've got the hot water flush suit, and from this point here, right down to the ankle, it's one continuous sheet, so there's no buffers, right. so that when the water's flushing in, they don't get cold spots. What happens with a lot of commercial suits when it's uh, heavy fleece and uh, fintier type materials, in these areas here, you get cold spots where the water can't flow just can't, through. Can't flow through. Yeah, so this it continuously flows. We've read the, the difference between this and a normal compact as well is we've put in a heavy duty YKK zip, yeah. so you can boil wash Red this one. one as well. So it's yeah. so if you boil wash a normal suit, you get shrinkage, and if you get shrinkage on a very fine tooth zip, you can't unzip the bucket. So. Uh, so it's what commercial boys have to think about all those yeah. preparational types. We've over-engineered it as well, the, all the seams that run down here have got a heavier stitch per inch, so you've got a very, very tough so got suit. Yeah. And then first. another change is down at the bottom. Um, the commercial guys may want to come out and put rigger boots on, yep. or even use these uh, surface work. So we've put this in here, 
some of them, yeah, some of them got, it's the other way around, so the boot would go over the outside. So we just put a Velcro onto here, bring the Velcro around, and tighten the whole thing down. And you ready for evening wear? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> simple, simple suit. Uh, but they say you can boil wash it, uh, you can wear it wet, you can wear it dry. So it's got multiple, you know, or Yeah, you don't have to just use it for, you know, saturation diving. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Right, here I am on the uh, Epi Valve stand with uh, Martin Parker. So, Martin, what have we got for you? Several of the most obviously, uh, doing very well with the rebreathers. Oh, yeah. Uh, the uh, the biggest development for this year has been a new oxygen sensor. Uh, so, it's uh, not much bigger than a party popper, but that's the, the vital bit that uh, keeps the diver alive. Uh, I have three of those in, in, in the rig. Uh, I've got an awful lot of development work over the year with those. And, uh, Thank you. 
but if it's getting more people into uh, into re breathers, yeah. it's great. It's not a wider public. Yeah, the beauty of the system, of course, is it's always upgraded from software, so we can bring in the new, um, uh, new software switching, so we can change the set point automatically on the way down, gradually on the up, automatically on the way back up. If you have some quality control, it's going to be issue with it wasn't before the refit. So, um, you've still got the capability to, to change it over to. Yeah, as your skills develop, you can increase it up to make it with all your technical regulations. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So, that's about it. Yeah. That sounds great. Thank you very much.